catheters, everything you need to know. Part two, catheterization and catheter care. Did you know catheters were used as early as 3000 BC to relieve painful urinary retention? In this portion, we're gonna talk about different types of catheterization, including internal, intermittent, indwelling, urethral, suprapubic, and nephrostomy tubes. Condom catheters. This is a type of external catheterization. It is usually used in males with urinary incontinence. This type of catheter has variant type of success depending on the patient. In order for it to be effective, there needs to be a good seal around the penile shaft. There is limited evidence to suggest that condom catheters decrease the chance of urinary tract infection. It is important to be wary that there are complications associated with skin irritation and penile compression with inappropriately placed condom catheters. Clean intermittent catheterization. This is a clean procedure, not a sterile one. This is either done through the urethra or the stoma, usually completed by the patient, as this is something that is involved in a patient's daily life. They often will reuse catheters from day to day. There are different cleaning regimens that are often recommended as per the patient's urologist. If a healthcare provider needed to intermittently catheterize someone, it is recommended that this is done as a sterile procedure. Indwelling urethral catheter. The insertion of a catheter is done as a sterile procedure in order to minimize infection. Catheters should be changed approximately every four to six weeks as per the MRP. It is common for catheters to lose its color as it is exposed to the body. Patients may alternate between a leg bag during the day and a larger drainage bag at night. Suprapubic catheters. Suprapubic catheters are ideal for long-term indwelling catheterization. It prevents bladder neck injury in women as well as penile erosion in men. Patients can experience catheter blockage because of stone or mucus production. It is important that the first catheter change should be done by the most responsible physician, usually a urologist. Suprapubic catheter replacement. It is critical if a catheter becomes dislodged that it be replaced immediately. Even a well-established suprapubic tract can begin to close within hours. It is recommended that a new catheter is inserted within minutes to prevent losing the tract. In order to do this, one should clean the skin with an alcohol or chlorhexidine swab, lubricate the new catheter, insert the catheter until the hub reaches the skin, slowly inflate the balloon. When you are doing this, you should be watching the patient's face. This should not be painful. If the patient begins to grimace, it's possible that the catheter has slipped down into the bladder neck. Once the catheter is secured, retract the catheter and hook it up to a drainage system. Nephrostomy tubes. This is either done percutaneously by radiology or open by urology. This allows for urine to flow out and prevent a high pressure system in the kidneys. Nephrostomy tubes are usually used for short periods of time, but can also be used for palliation the nephrostomy tube may be hooked up to a drainage system similar to a leg bag, or just have a urostomy appliance placed over it, and even sometimes a combination of the two. Catheter care. We're going to discuss securing devices, how to change a drainage bag, peri care for the healthcare professionals, suprapubic and nephrostomy care, as well as personal hygiene for patients. Securing a catheter. There are many different brands of securing devices. Most devices have an adhesive portion that goes on the skin and a clip that grips the catheter. When placing a device, ensure that the position will not put traction on the catheter, i.e. ensure the patient's leg is fully extended. Clean the skin with an alcohol swab. This allows for the adhesive to stick better. Place the adhesive, applying firm pressure to it. Next, secure the catheter, ensuring that there is no traction placed on the Foley. If traction is placed, this can lead to bladder neck injuries or penile erosion. Although securing a catheter may seem trivial, 
It is very important in order to prevent traumatic removal and other complications. Changing drainage bags. The drainage system is meant to be a closed system in order to prevent infection. When changing drainage bags, it is important to clean the end of the system. This can be done with an alcohol swab. When a bag is not in use, it's important that a cap is placed over the connecting end and stored away safely. It is important that the drainage bag is placed lower than the patient's bladder. This allows for urine to flow by gravity. A backflow of urine or stagnant urine can increase the patient's risk of infection. Do not put the drainage bag on the floor. Peri-care for healthcare professionals. When a patient has an indwelling urethral catheter, it is important that the patient receives daily peri-care. It is important to use warm soapy water around the urethra and visualize where the catheter is entering the GU tract. This prevents incrustation of the catheter. In uncircumcised males, it is important to retract the foreskin, cleanse around the glands, and recover the head of the penis. It is critical to notify the MRP if there are any signs of urethral erosion. Suprapubic catheter and nephrostomy tube care. Use a sterile or clean gauze depending on whether the patient has a newly placed or chronic tube. Cleanse circumferentially around the tube. Inspect for skin breakdown, infection, or bypassing of urine. Newly placed tubes may require a dressing to ensure protection while they are healing. Patients and their catheter care. Patients should wash hands before and after handling their catheter. Baths are not recommended with indwelling urethral catheters because increased risk of infection. Patients with suprapubic catheters can take baths as long as they have a urostomy appliance placed over top of the catheter. It is important to check with healthcare professionals about using creams and lotions and other remedies around the site. In summary, a catheter can drain urine at any level of the urinary tract. It is important to understand why your patient has a particular type of catheter. It is critical to secure the catheter to prevent traumatic Foley removal and other complications. Good catheter care can help prevent skin complications and urinary tract infections. In the next video, we will talk about catheter complications and catheter skills.